The Laurel Racing Juvenile Hurdle is next, it's a Juvenile Maiden Hurdle for the four hours, of course, and Chaos Bell is at the top for Craig Beckwith. Final say, Darren Thompson, Military Crusade, Jim Murray, Mr. Fish, Martin Lina Mortier, Bronze, Matt Cooper, Potential in Spades, Joshua Sutherland, Redondo Beach, Leon Van Rensburg, Esme Note, Alex Cherry, Habaria Zara, Derek Hinton, Ruth Noyes, Fanning, David Robertson, Stiletto Heel, Daniel French, and Tahira Told You So at the bottom. Yeah, called in and away to hear a told you so was James Shea. And away and racing down to the first. And it's Esme Note who's the first to show for Alex Cherry. I'm surprised to see a field of only 12 for this one. The only four year old hurdle race of the week. Makes you wonder if only 12 trainers have got four year olds. The juvenile division might not take all that much winning them this year, but. Maybe one or two keeping their powder dry for a different day. It's Esme Note who's clear in front, leading by about four or five lengths. To Stiletto Hill in second. Potential in spades is third. Mr. Fish four. And Chaos Bell and Ortia Bronze. Final say after that one. And Redondo Beach. Towards the back, Habaria Zara is the back marker. They finally get to and get over the first, and all do so successfully with Esme Note, the clear leader. Oh, Alex Cherry, Stiletto Heel is just about second ahead of Potential in Spades and Mr. Fish, and it's virtually three in a line. Chaos Bell just tucked in behind them, then all tier bronze. After that, as they get over the second, a mistake there by Mr. Fish. I said earlier in the day these hurdles wouldn't take a great deal of jumping. I mean, typically, be, mine will be one of the ones that falls. Having said that, they get over the third, and all safely over that one with Ruth Noise Fanning, the back marker now. Interesting name, that one. But it's Esme noting the lead. Clear by a good six lengths, it's about to take this turn. From Stiletto Heel in second, Mr. Fish third, potentially in spades is four, then Chaos Bell and final say. With Hamaria Zara going up the inside. We'll tear bronze and Redondo Beach widest. With behind them Ruth Noise Fanning. Military Crusade and finally to hear her told you so. Here's me note. About to be joined, it would seem, by a final say. And Thompson Porter has a good four year old hurdle up. Stiletto Heel is third. Mr. Fish is fourth. Potential in spades is next, also Chaos Bell is now cruising around the outside and trying to run off from the back, Ruth Noise Fanning as well. And they get to the fourth of the seven, and they're all over the fourth one okay, with Esme Note now being joined by Final Say and Mr Fish, although Esme Note's kicked on again. They're really starting to bunch up though behind and there's a good six there ready to challenge the leader. Here's me note, gets over to third, last in the lead from Ruth Noise Fanning, who's come through into second. Stiletto Heel is third, then Mr. Fish, Habaria Zara is next, then Potential in Spades, they're over the second last. They've only got one to take and it's Habaria Zara, who's come through from nowhere to take it up. Habaria Zara from Stiletto Heel, then comes final say, Ruth Noise needs after that one, over the final flight they go. And now it's Stiletto Heel on the inside, who's just in front, Stiletto Heel from Habaria Zara, then final say, they're racing inside the final half furlong, Stiletto Heel is holding on by about a head, it's Stiletto Heel in front, hanging on as they get towards the line, Stiletto Heel is going to take it, Stiletto Heel wins it from Habaria Zara, final say, potentially inspired Chaos Bell and Mr Fish, and in the end, here's me note, the long time leader ended up last, and Stiletto Heel takes it, that looks like Daniel French to me. Indeed it is, Habaria Zara, second for Derek Hinton, final say was third for Darren Thompson, potential in spades, Joshua Sutherland four, and Chaos Bell for Craig Beckwith was fifth.